What's up, neighbors? Your girl next door here again, Bobon Bree. And for today's video, I am going to share how I customize my iOS 14. So this is all for free, so stay tuned. So last weekend, I shared my screenshot of my home screen on my iPhone on my social media accounts and it got a lot of comments and my friends were messaging me how I how I customized my home page, how did I put image on my app and what widget did I use. So that gives me an idea to make a tutorial video. So this is my first time doing a tutorial video to share with you guys. So this is so exciting. iOS 14 was released and the highlight about it is you can put widget on your home screen just like Android. This is kind of new to us Apple users. First things first is I'm going to show to you what's on my iPhone. Also, I would like to give thanks to two YouTubers that is Julia K. Christ and uh, Rachella for giving me an inspiration of doing this design. So this is my like, lock screen. Uh, I put a dried pop flower image on it because lately I've been so in love with dried flowers. It feels like it, it's giving me a positivity on my day. When I open my phone, it shows my home screen. So what I love also to this iOS 14 is that declutter your apps. So I only put um, essential apps on my home homepage and then the rest are in the app library for my first home screen i got my calendar showing and camera front nanny facebook instagram pinterest and youtube and a widget of daily task because i always make sure that i am productive and then on my second home page there's another uh, widget display showing positive uh, quotations, uh, there's my clock, um, there's also my editing apps, my fitness and health, and then there's my Spotify and my weather widget. So basically, the first home page is my essential apps and then the second home page is that gives me an update on my days. And then on my third uh, home page, it shows a, another display widget. I am doing work from home now and uh, I always make sure that when I receive my calls, my notes is always accessible so that I can take notes of what's really important. So when you sw uh, swipe right, there's this app library. Next is I'm going to show you how I did my fancy fancy app and um, what widget did I use. So you just go to your app store and type widget smith. is looks like that you can also use color widgets where you can customize fonts um, and uh, background or what style you use but I just use widget smith and it looks like that so as you can see on my home page there is my first widget and showing the date and the day there's also my Display widget shows the photo, my quotations, and then on my other home page, there's this large widget or display widget. So what you can do is just add small widget because you can decorate a lot of multiple widgets, not just one. Choose what kind of widget you like. So there's time. Uh, there's date, there's also photos, 
our photo with the dates on it there's this battery icon showing your battery health and then events reminders weather health and activity tight and astronomy so i just use the calendar format which is like that font is um i choose new york depends on your style and then for my game color that's a the font color so i just use white and then for background color i use pink so it will match my home theme and then you can choose a border color so i just use none and then to save it just uh, click the back button and then click save and then afterwards log press your home screen and then there's this plus button on the upper right corner and then just click or choose widget smith and then click small and add widget and then there it goes So this time I'm going to show you how I customize these fancy apps that are showing on my home screen. So actually this is not the app itself but this is called a bookmark or a shortcut for, I, for your iOS because you can just um, change the image button of your uh, application. So. What I did is just go to shortcuts and then you can see that there's a lot of shortcuts that I made for my home screen. So in the upper right corner, there's a plus button. So just click it and then uh, choose add action and then go to scripting. What you want is to uh, direct you to the app that you'd like to customize so you hit the open app and then there's this choose button so open and then click the choose and then search for the app that you'd like to customize so for example Instagram and then click the uh, three dots on the upper right corner and then put Instagram so what I want is all lowercase press add to home screen then rename it again to Instagram and then click the icon beside a left side of the name app then choose photo so I just choose I'm just going to choose this um, rainbow and then you can zoom in or zoom out and then just choose and then just hit the add and then you will see that it's added on your screen so for those of you who are asking where i um, got the images that I've used for my lock screen, for my display widget, for my icons. My theme is all about watercolor. Go to Pinterest. This is all for free, guys. You don't have to pay anything. Watercolor flowers. And then there you go. You can have, you can, you can have that. You can also have this. I have this so what I choose is um, a single image of a flower and then just download the image on your phone and shaboom you will have it for free for my um, wallpaper background for my home screen I just use wallpaper uh, watercolor wallpaper a bunch of 
images there that you can choose so that's basically it i hope you've enjoyed this video to get more updates on how i customize my apple watch or my laptop you can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get updates on my uploaded videos and comment down below what should i do next for the tutorial thank you so much guys for uh watching move on my tv and see you all guys on my next video cheers